Now, a magician from the United Arab Emirates has been garnering praise and fans in high places, including members of the UAE's ruling families. And he wants to turn his passion into a business. But could the prospect of turning a profit prove to be just an illusion? Philip Hampshire has been finding out. Moen Al Bastaki is an illusionist born in the United Arab Emirates. He became famous across the Middle East when on live television he teleported a regional celebrity from their home to the studio and back again in front of an audience. He regards himself as an ambassador for stage magic in a region not known for producing magicians. I got very much interested in the field of magic uh, since when I was six. I mean, I, the story behind it was I was at home, my grandfather asked me to come and see him. So I go to him, he takes a coin and he puts it in his mouth and he bits on it. And he, he, when he brings it out, it's bitten. It's like there is, there is the half of the coin have vanished. And I was like, all right, he might have really strong teeth. But then when he shakes it for a second, it becomes a full coin again. And I was very much mesmerized. I go to my area, I collect all the bitten, all the bent, all sort of not, not normal coins. And I bring them around 20 dirhams. And I go, Grandpa, if you can please change them to the normal coins, I want to buy something really nice for myself. He goes, no, I can't, I'm sorry, but that coin was quite different. With fans of his work, including members of some of the Gulf's ruling families, Moeen's found himself widely followed on the internet. Most of his work is done for corporate parties, stage shows and Middle Eastern television programs. But magic is a hot-button issue. The theatrics of his craft can touch on religious taboos. When Moeen announced he planned to escape from being buried alive, death threats were posted on some websites. I and all the other illusionists in the world, we are doing something which is beautiful and that's a piece of art that we call it illusion, that there is no supernatural power behind it. It's just the way that you do it, that I do it, that I know how it's done. I want to ensure that the Arab world change their idea of the whole illusion and the magic world and to know that this is all just illusions and nothing to do with any connection with any supernatural power. The majority of people he comes into contact with enjoy his work. He sometimes tours places like Mall of the Emirates performing tricks for shoppers. With magicians in Europe and North America often household names, Moeen believes the industry can grow in the Middle East if it is nurtured. To help with that, he's opening a magic school by the end of the year. It will be a first for the region. A string of themed cafes will follow where visitors can be enthralled by those learning their craft. But given the sensitive nature of the subject, can his project work? So the aim is to open a magic school till the end of the year, to have the magic school opened. I know it's going to be some hard steps to go through. We will, have, we will be faced by that. I know when I'm going to go and apply for a magic school, the, the guy behind the counter will be just surprised of what activity is that, what are you going to do, magic? I mean, like, and of course, you know, most, some, of, some of the stuff that usually we go through is a little bit difficult because of it being magic or in between, in brackets, illusions, but then we have to go through that. The market is, is, can be risky. I don't know. I mean, nobody have before me tested this market to open this kind of a school or open a cafe for this kind of act. that by exposing people to the thrill of illusionism, the Gulf will become more comfortable with the industry. Pushing boundaries in entertainment is tricky, but Moeen is sure the modern Gulf is open-minded enough to support magicians full-time. It's enough to give anyone in the illusions industry pins and needles all over. Philip Hampshire reporting there. Well, our time is very nearly up. I do hope you've enjoyed our programme.